Well, in an environment where every day a media trial is conducted by some or the other news channel and where each and every order of the court is dissected to the bare thread by popular TV anchors, here comes a judgment by the Supreme Court which has decried that any debate or discussion on a public platform such as TV channels concerning criminal cases in the domain of courts would amount to direct interference in the administration of criminal justice. A bench of justices UU Lalit and PS Narsimha made the observation while hearing an appeal arising out of a judgment of the Karnataka High Court where the appellants were sentenced to life imprisonment for the crime of the coity with murder. The court found three disturbing features about the case. Firstly, the tendency of recording the statement in such a way that the confession otherwise hid by the principles of the Evidence Act found its place on record. Secondly, the evidence being discussed on television and thirdly, not enough details of the appellant's involvement in other matters. The court also found that a chain of circumstances had not yet been established by the prosecution and thus the appellants were acquitted.